Hello everybody and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel. Bogdan here, your not so entertaining host for the next couple of minutes. I hope that you are all doing great and uh, without asking you to move your finger or move your pointer in order to hit the like and the subscribe buttons, let's dive into today's topic which brings us to the value of kings, so Egypt. And I don't know for you, but uh, for me Egypt is still underrated when it comes to business opportunities. But anyways, I'm not here to endorse uh, Egypt or uh, something similar. It's just a personal opinion, of course. So let's highlight a couple of uh, facts about Egypt. It's the third uh, highest on the African continent when it comes to GDP after Nigeria and uh, South Africa. With some 102 million people, Egypt is the third largest uh, country in Africa after Nigeria and uh, Ethiopia. It uh, ranks relatively low, unfortunately, in terms of economic freedom, with an overall score of uh, 49.1, just behind Laos and uh, just in front of uh, Pakistan. In uh, 2020, what else to highlight here? Uh, in 2020, as I was saying, Egypt received the largest amount of uh, foreign direct investments, some uh, $6 billion, of course, on the uh, African continent. Uh, more than Nigeria and uh, South Africa combined. It has some um, eight uh, free trade agreements in place, and I will mention a couple here. The Pan-Arab uh, Free Trade Agreement, Egypt-Turkey uh, Free Trade Agreement, and Egypt-Mercosur. Uh, and uh, finally, the last important fact, guys, the Suez Canal revenues are considered the third largest source of uh, Egypt's national income behind uh, remittances and tourism. And uh, with this being said, I think I've covered uh, everything I wanted to cover in this short introduction about Egypt. So let's talk numbers here and uh, see what Egypt exports, imports, uh, who are the main uh, trading partners. And as usual, um, where possible, I will try to give you also the main drivers for both the import and export flows. So without uh, further ado, when it comes to exports, um, Given the developing status of Egypt, uh, we have chapters where there is not too much value added. Um, but this doesn't mean that uh, the figures are not impressive. And we have here chapter 27, so mineral fuels and oils, who is uh, basically driving most of uh, the exports for uh, Egypt, at least for uh, 2021, which let's say is the reference year for this so-called analysis. Uh, it it uh, was followed by plastics and articles thereof with some 2.7 billion dollars. Then we have uh, chapter 85 with 2.4 billion dollars, followed by iron and steel chapter, edible fruits and nuts, uh, fertilizers sits on the sixth spot, articles of apparel follows, and the last three in this top 10 list are natural or cultured pearls, precious and uh, semi-precious metals. Edible vegetables on the ninth spot, and finally on the tenth one, we have aluminium and articles thereof with some $780 million. Uh, if in the 2017 2020 time frame for the overall exports, um, we see here they were relatively stable in terms of variability. In uh, 2021, we have almost uh, $14 billion more exports. All this uh, thanks to the mineral fuels and oil sectors who almost tripled if I were of course to compare with the figures coming from uh, 2020. It's uh, clearly a very important sector for Egypt and uh, we see this also in the share column here where it's around 32% whereas the rest of the top, top 10 chapters have much much lower figures. In uh, terms of year-on-year -year changes, in uh, 2021, the overall exports went up uh, 52%, with almost all of the top 10 uh, chapters here having an increase, except uh, chapter 71, <coughs> sorry guys, who had a 61% uh, contraction. Now, moving to the import flow, well, things here seems to be more volatile with a peak in uh, 2018 and then a big, big contraction in 2020. And then 
2021 who somehow picks up and we have some uh, 73.8 billion dollars worth of imports with again mineral fuels uh, leading followed by uh, chapter 84 87 uh, uh, chapter 10 so cereals then we have uh, chapter 85 39 30 72 12 and then finally the last one is uh, organic chemicals so chapter uh, 29 with almost uh, two billion dollars worth of imports relatively to the year on year changes the imports expanded with uh, 22 percent if we compare again with the figures coming from 2020 with all top 10 uh, chapters registering uh, strong positive changing from i don't know seven percent to some 57 uh, percent as in the case here with the pharma sector now in terms of uh, the balance of trade well egypt uh, it's uh, clearly a net importer with an overall negative balance of trade of roughly 33 billion dollars and as we can see here except uh, chapter 27 who had a positive balance of trade the rest of the top 10 chapters and are in the negative territory Anyways, now moving to the top five uh, chapters for each flow. I will start with the main driver from the export flow. So chapter 27, mineral fuels and oils. And we see that for um, 2021, the exports uh, took off. And we have almost $13.2 billion worth of exports with India here, Malta and Greece as the main destinations followed of course by other important ones like i don't know china spain or um, another destination interesting destination ship stores and bunkers to name a few from this top 10 list in uh, terms of year on year changes we see here a huge increase both in absolute and uh, relative terms all this thanks to the exports uh, towards india malta or italy also who contributed a lot as uh, for uh, the main export drivers well towards india we have a subheading 270900 so crude oil basically while the exports uh, towards uh, malta were uh, driven by subheading 271019 so medium oils and preparations not containing biodiesel moving now to egypt's second export driver we have here chapter 39 plastics and uh, articles thereof up until 2020 it was quite stable and then in uh, 2021 we see a 54 percent increase which brought the overall exports to some uh, 2.7 billion dollars with turkey here areas not elsewhere specified and belgium as the main destinations but we have other important ones in this top 10 list like uh, the united states um, sudan or libya again just to name a couple relative to the year on year changes as we can see here all the top 10 partners had the positive uh, changes with areas not elsewhere specified in italy contributing the most to the strong uh, performance as for uh, the main drivers well towards turkey we have subheading 390210 so polypropylene in primary forms while uh, the exports towards the united states were had uh, were um, driven by subheading uh, 390760 so pet again in primary forms jumping now to the third biggest export driver guys chapter 85 here we have some 2.4 billion dollars worth of exports in uh, 2021 up 52 percent from the previous year which uh, translates into some 860 million dollars in uh, absolute terms with slovakia united kingdom and the united arab emirates as the main destinations followed by countries like i don't know france iraq or uh, germany to just to name a couple from this top 10 list and uh, relatively to the year-on-year -year changes almost all of the top 10 partners had uh, positive figures except turkey who had a 12 percent contraction here it will be interesting to find out uh, what importers or uh, exporters wanted to go incognito as the exports towards areas not elsewhere specified skyrocketed from uh, zero to 174 million dollars 
Uh, personally, I didn't have the energy to cross check, uh, but at the first glance, I uh, would say that Turkey and Hungary are potential destinations. But anyways, let's see who are the main drivers here. And uh, basically, towards the United Kingdom, we have insulated coaxial cable. While the exports towards uh, Saudi Arabia were driven uh, by subheading 852872, so basically television sets. Moving now, guys, to the fourth biggest export driver for Egypt 2021. <clears throat> Here we have iron and steel. And we see that uh, for 2021, we have almost 148% uh, uh, increase relative to 2020, which uh, translates to some $1.7 billion worth of exports with uh, Spain here, Italy and the United States as the main destinations, followed by others like, I don't know, Canada, Brazil or Portugal, again, to name a couple of them. Almost all uh, the top 10 partners had positive changes year on year, except here Saudi Arabia, who had a 37.5% contraction. The United States, Brazil, Belgium, or I don't know, areas not elsewhere specified, had uh, huge uh, relative increases, with uh, Spain here leading the way if we're uh, talking in absolute terms as Egypt had some $335.8 million more exports uh, towards uh, Spain sorry, in uh, 2021 than it did the previous year. As uh, for the main drivers, well, towards uh, Italy we have flat rolled products of uh, iron or non-alloy non steel while uh, the exports towards Brazil were driven mainly by bars and rods, hot rolled, so subheading 721391. Moving now to the last chapter from uh, the export flow, guys, we have uh, here chapter 8, edible fruit and nuts, and we have some $1.6 billion worth of exports, let's call it 1.7. Uh, 14 uh, percent more than the previous year with areas not elsewhere specified russia and uh, saudi arabia as the main destinations uh, followed by others like i don't know china germany or india the latter having the biggest increase both in relative and uh, absolute terms here if of course i were to ignore areas not well specified Relative to the year-on-year year on year changes, we have some $207 million more exports with a 50-50 split, if you want, in this top 10 list between expansion and contraction. As for the main export drivers, well, it's not that complex here. Egypt has a big competitive advantage when it comes to oranges. Personally, I would say that uh, watermelons also, but uh, for both the Russian Federation and China, the main export, uh, main export driver is uh, fresh or dried oranges, so subchapter 080510. And uh, guys, with the top five drivers from the export flow, let's take a look at the import flow also. And uh, the first chapter is uh, chapter 27. Again, mineral fuels and oils, lots of uh, cross-trading uh, for uh, this chapter between imports and exports. And we have some $10.4 billion worth of imports uh, for 2021 with uh, Saudi Arabia areas not elsewhere specified and Kuwait as the main partners. But of course, we have other um, important uh, ones like uh, the United States, Iraq or Morocco. In uh, terms of year-on-year -year changes, we have a uh, 47% positive change, $3.3 billion, if I were to put a dollar figure to this percentage, with big, big absolute figures coming from Saudi Arabia and areas not elsewhere specified, both with figures above the $1 billion mark. As for the main drivers, well, for both Kuwait and Morocco, we have subchapter 270900, so crude petroleum, basically. Jumping now to the second biggest import driver for Egypt in 2020, no, 2021, sorry. We have here chapter 84, machinery, mechanical appliances and their parts. 
and here we have more or less a stable flow if you want except maybe 2020 which personally i consider it as an outlier but anyways in terms of uh, the import value we have almost 6.2 billion dollars uh, worth of imports with china here italy and uh, germany leading the way followed by countries like uh, turkey south korea or vietnam again to name a couple Concerning the year-on-year -year changes, almost all the top 10 partners had positive figures except the United States and Japan who both had smaller values exported towards Egypt in uh, 2021. Um, coming back to the positive figures here, the biggest change both in absolute and the relative terms happened with the imports coming from areas not elsewhere specified and the culprit here if you want i think it's china who somehow use, uh, uses egypt as a processing hub for parts and finished goods that are um, under the incidence are prone to fall into the um, protectionist um, barriers of the United, uh, european union sorry so the so-called circumvention process is just a thought of mine I don't have any evidence here and I am just extrapolating some cases in which the EU investigations found out that Egypt or Morocco for that matter were used as uh, hubs to access uh, the EU market by China. Anyways, coming back to the topic here, I need to cover the main uh, import drivers and we have here subheading 847930 which uh, drives most of the imports from Germany. And uh, subheading 843049, which is driving most of the imports uh, coming from South Korea. Moving now, guys, to the third largest import driver. So we have here chapter 87, another complex chapter. Here, if you ask me, we have again a relatively stable trend when it comes to the imported values, so volatility. 2021 has uh, the largest value here close to $5 billion in uh, this uh, five years time frame with Germany, China and again the recurrent areas not elsewhere specified as the main um, partners followed by other important ones like I don't know the Czech Republic, India or Spain and um, here except Germany and Turkey who had the contractions in 2021 the rest of the top 10 ones had positive changes the biggest absolute change happening in relation with guess what areas not all specified and uh, again as in the case with chapter 84 so uh, the previous one <clears throat> I think that China contributed a lot to this huge spike, but as I've said, this needs to be uh, cross-checked and further investigated, so don't take my word for it. In uh, terms of uh, the biggest drivers, we have uh, here two examples coming from the Czech Republic and Turkey. For the former, the biggest uh, driver was subchapter 870322, so basically cars with an engine capacity between 1000 and uh, 1500 cubic centimeters. Sorry guys from uh, using the imperial um, measuring system, while the latter uh, we have again cars, but this time with an engine capacity between 1,500 and 3,000 uh, cubic centimeters, so basically bigger engines. Moving now to the fourth, I think, yes, fourth biggest import driver, we have here chapter 10, cereals, and uh, even though it has some ups and downs when it comes to the imported value, I think that in terms of uh, the volumes involved, the volatility is much more contained as uh, these are tradable commodities and therefore subject to a bigger volatility when it comes to value. Anyhow, for uh, 2021, Egypt imported some $5 billion worth of cereals with Ukraine, the Russian Federation and Argentina as the top three partners followed by other important uh, agri-exporters like, I don't know, Brazil, Romania or Australia. And except Ukraine, the Russian Federation and uh, France, who all had contraction, the rest of the top 10 uh, partners had uh, positive changes. The biggest absolute one happening with areas not elsewhere specified. 
and we have here some 517 million dollars more um, imports coming from those areas and that this time i think that the culprit or culprits are the commodity trading companies uh, based in the russian federation but again uh, it has to be checked as for uh, the main import drivers well from ukraine we have subheading 100119 so with basically while the imports coming from egypt were mainly driven by maize so subheading 100590 and uh, finally guys if uh, you are still with me i will cover the fifth and last chapter so uh, 85 electrical machinery equipment and uh, their parts we see here that in uh, 2021 egypt's imports amounted to almost uh, 4.9 billion dollars with China areas not elsewhere specified and Vietnam as the main partners, followed by other important ones like I don't know, Germany, India or uh, Taiwan. The year on year overall change was positive here, almost uh, 23 percent, even though we have a couple of partners who saw their exports uh, shrunk, like I don't know, Italy or South Korea, to mention those with the biggest absolute figures. And overall, as I've said, the change was positive, almost $902 million, uh, more imports in uh, 2021 than uh, in uh, 2020. And uh, if you're wondering what country is behind the huge increase for areas not well specified from this chapter, I think you've got the, the, the idea by now. And uh, it doesn't make sense to name that country, which uh, starts with uh, Chi and uh, it's not Chile. As uh, for the main drivers, and I will stop here, I promise, we have mobile phones being imported from uh, Vietnam, for example, while from France we have subheading 853710, so boards, cabinets for electric control or the distribution of electricity, for a voltage smaller than 1000 volts. Whew. And uh, guys, with this uh, last recommendation being also covered, uh, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit whatever button you like uh, below or around this uh, video. And as usual, until next time, keep your busy safe. Thanks.